Hi everybody and welcome to my first video on IEC host the embedded system that um, implements a Commodore IEC host interface which means it can be the master of um, an IEC bus and control disk drives and printers, plotters one day, maybe, I don't know what you see here is my test setup with my trusty 15412 and my initial um, implementation of uh, the test circuit. As you can see, it's uh, powered and the test circuit is eventually connected to my laptop, which I use as a serial console, like that. Right, let's get this started. And as you can see, the console went live. Let's put the disk in and uh, start off having a look at what uh, controls we have. So we have um, couple of buffer related uh, commands very simply the first one shows me the well, if, if run this way it shows me the first page of um, the working buffer and so if I provide it with an offset it shows me the second page, third page, so on and so forth BL we will come to that later on because we need to get something in this buffer before starting. So let's get started with uh, a load command. And um, this is one you would have typed a lot back in the day, or something along these lines. Let's get the, the directory of this disk. You can hear the disk was spinning. Now the camera won't adjust anymore to the screen. Come on. That's it. Okay, so let's have a look at what the buffer now contains. And as you can see, this is the directory lifting, which continues on page 2, yeah, blocks free, and I'd like to draw your attention on the fact that um, this directory lift listing is showing up as starting at the basic start address, 0801, and that's because the load command without the secondary address has relinked, has loaded this as if it was going to load it in, in RAM in the basic area, and it has relinked it, which means we can now use the BL command to interpret the buffer contents as a basic program. And as you would expect, you get the directory listing as a basic program. To prove that, let's have a look at what happens if we actually provide a secondary address just as we would on the Commodore 64. On the Commodore 64, the directory listing would end up on the screen. So what we will do now is to show the buffer contents again and this time as you can see the program has not been relinked and the starting address is still 0401, right? Okay, let's go for the next command, well, the status command. Okay, okay, and this is my favorite, the sector read command. Let's have a look at the one of the you know, most famous 
sectors and mostly looked at from from the drive. So it's track 18 sector 1. So you can see it's quite quick to load just one sector. Let's have a look at the buffer count. Yeah, as you would expect, this is the where the directory is on the disk. Another famous sector to have a look at is Erin Zero. And this is where the disk label and disk ID are. In fact, as you would expect, and there is the BAM information as well, BAM, or you know, file allocation table. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!